Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here at the MTK Scotland Show in Glasgow. With me, I've got Ian Butcher. Ian, uh, you're scheduled to fight another fighter. You've got a late <laughs> replacement. Uh, what, two days, one day notice? Uh, I just don't it, uh, You got the win. Yep. That's the most important thing. How did you assess your performance? Um, I don't really think I boxed that great, to be fair. Um, coaches and Boy and everybody kind of remember saying different, saying it was better after the first round of uh, flash knockdown and things like that. But as I say, maybe I'm being hard on myself, what like they say, but I'll need to go back and watch it. But being in there and just fresh for it, I didn't really, I would say maybe 50% of what I could really do, to be honest with you. But I would I'd say I would need to go back and have a look and look over the performance to see. Just glad to get back to winning me right enough. Well, that's what I was going to say. Do you, do you feel like, um, <laughs> do you feel like it's a. Uh, because you were obviously motivated, fighting Scott Allen would have been an all Scottish affair, uh, fighting for the, the, the Abandon Lake title. Celtic, it was the Celtic title. Was saying, Celtic yeah, so you were fighting for the title, but then obviously, you, 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 you don't mind me saying you, you couldn't make mm -hmm. the weight. Mm -hmm. uh, so this would, at 24 hours notice, was it mm -hmm. hard to get motivated for this guy? Because you did have a long training camp preparing for Scott uh, Allen. So was it one of them, I can't be, well, not so much. It's just one of the ones where, if you're boxed at title level, you understand, like, um, boxed not. It's not been big here either. That box known like when I boxed Kevin Satchel to chief support to, to David Price, mm -hmm. boxing Charlie Edwards and the Ricky Burns undercard and and even the cash was quite a big fight as well. Like in, for being a British title fight it was quite big for the show and mm -hmm. things like that. It was in here, wasn't it? It was the in here. So see, they they kinda of fights get you like I don't say they motivate you anymore, they just get you like that wee bit of excitement, like you want to do things mm -hmm. a wee bit maybe better or more or whatever it may be, but the late the late replacement it's down to my fault, so I take responsibility for all that with the weight thing and uh, getting a rate of placement. That's all down to m myself, so I take that, I've got to take that in the chin, mm -hmm. which I will do, it's, it's no problem at all, but it's just harder to get up for somebody. I didn't really train for that guy. Mm -hmm. Taller than Scott, a lot taller than Scott, a lot heavier. Um, it was actually heavier than what I originally wanted to box it, even with another opponent, yeah. but late replacement, I say my fault, so I can't complain that this, this empty case, as I say, th I thank them and Danny for, for still being able to save me a fight, get me back on and on the winning way, which I appreciate that as well, so. Well, again, would you entertain Scott Allen fight again if that fight was uh, given to you? If or was that ship sailed? Nah, well, it, it just depends on what MTK come up with. Um, me, me personally, I entertain any fight. Scott, this, Scott Allen knows, I'm not scared of Scott Allen, I've beat him twice in amateurs. And I've done umpteen rounds with him. See if I thought Scott Allen was going to beat me, I wouldn't be taking the fight. Because mm. I've done easy a couple of hundred, three hundred rounds with Scott. Trust me, <laughs> that's nothing that I bother about. Right. We, I, you, are you going? Are you comfortable at Bantam weight? Am I comfortable? No, I, I'm very comfortable doing the weight. For the cash fight, it was only November. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even train the day of the weigh in. That shows how comfortable I make the weight. Fighters need to train the day of the fight. I didn't even need to do that for the cash fight. Um, the cash fight runs smoother. Then this this camp did a few various things, um, which caused problems in camp. Don't need to get into depth, but I know my team know and things that went wrong that caused the weight. And as I said, I just didn't turn up at the weigh and miss a weight. I, I, I notified them beforehand to still try and reschedule yeah, this yeah. fight with Scott. At no stage did I pull out of fighting Scott Allen. Scott Allen pulled out of fighting me because mm. the fight was organised. The fight could have still been made at it could, have, it could have been made at four pounds heavier for the super bantamweight title, uh, the Celtic super bantamweight title, because mm -hmm. I've got messages to prove it. My manager spoke to me. My manager's not going to lie to me. Mm -hmm. They went away on Facebook saying about nine stone two, and I'm scared to box him. I've never been scared. I've boxed better guys than he. He's he's boxed. Mm -hmm. I've beat guys that he's lost to. So it does it doesn't make sense what he's saying. I don't really like doing that route with him, but. If that's the route he wants to go down, we can go down that route. I've got a better pedigree in amateur and in professional than what he has, so I'm not scared of him. That's the last mm -hmm. thing I'm a. Well, I'm not, I know you're not scared of fight because you've took some you've took mm -hmm. some very tough fights have, in Satchel. You've just have. named Charlie Edwards mm -hmm. as well. So let me put this to you. There's a guy holding the Commonwealth title outside saying saying MTK, mm -hmm. Lee McGregor. Mm -hmm. Would you entertain that fight in the future? I would, well, that was a fight we, we, I'd, uh, tried to, we were trying to make when I was when Sam McKinnock was part of MTK, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Um, we were going down that route. Anybody with a title at Bantam, we, I met, I'll entertain them. See if it's right for me, mm -hmm. I'll take the fight. As long as it's fair on both terms. Mm -hmm. As I say, Cash, uh, Lee, they kind of fights. If you're not inspiring to box kind of guys with titles, then why, why, why are you in the game for? Because you are, you, the Celtic Lee does hold that Commonwealth title. Yep. You know what I mean? And he is a yep. part of MTK. Yes. So well, he's just, he just well, became part of it. So, so it is a, a, 
I don't hope I'm not speaking out of turn here. No, like, no, uh, no. There's a, f no, that's no. a fight to be made. I mean, I know you don't back uh -huh. down from nobody because uh -huh. I've seen you fight numerous occasions. Uh -huh. so, um, Listen, see if it, I would rather be a boxer that goes in there and see if I lose to people or a retire, I can say, well, I boxed, I lost to the best guys. Mm -hmm. I didn't go there and just go through my career box and such and such and such and such, and you couldn't name them. Mm -hmm. At least the guys I've lost to, you could name them. One bad loss on my record that I should never ever have been in. Other than that, you could name every opponent I've lost to, the, the, the other three. Mm -hmm. So, realistically, I'm boxing guys who, if I beat them, I'm, I'm showing improvement. And if I don't beat them, I'm sure I'm maybe just not ready for that level or I've had a bad night or whatever yeah. it may be. So that's the type of fights I'm interested in. So what's next for you then, Ian? Uh, I've, not spoke with, I've not actually had a chance to speak with Daniel, um, uh, Daniel or Sandra like that. So once I get a chance, I'll sit down and speak with Eamon and see where we're going for there. Is that a title you want this year? Next, maybe the next well, real, realistically, it's all down to MTK. Mm -hmm. um, Lee's there, Cash is there. Maybe they two maybe box each other. Obviously, they two have got titles, so they maybe be chasing each other. Um, I don't actually know what what their plans are, so it but just do, depends. Do you feel like you, you you mentioned Lee and Lee McGregor and Cash Brook. Do you think your your name's still in that hat? Uh, but I believe it. Yeah. Well, I believe if I'm not there, if they don't believe I'm there, I'm a fight away. But I believe I could still go there. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, me personally, but as I say, boxing is business. It odd, it odd makes business sense for other fighters. But me personally, I'm willing to take. Fights like that, any 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 name with a title, I'm willing to engage in. Would you, if a title came up at Super Bantamweight, would you take it, or is that a step too far? Probably a step too far, depending on the opponent. I bet I'm good enough to beat certain Super Bant. Am I Super Bantamweight? No. Could I beat Super Bantamweights with title? The right person, I. Mm. Personally, I, could, I believe I could. Um, my spar, my, nine times out of spar, my is with heavier guys, fairly yeah. Super Bantam. So I'm used to being in with heavier guys anyway. So. Being in with that sort of punch power doesn't really bother me, it's not like a step up of that, but that's not saying I'm going to beat this guy or beat that guy or anything like that, but I believe I could beat some people, certain names out there that I could beat if they had a title, I, I super ban them. I can hear you, you're a wee boy, uh, I'm going to rush and give you a big cuddle match, I won't keep you much longer. Yeah. Uh, Ian, thanks for doing this 5 TV and uh, good luck and I'll catch up with you right. soon. Thanks, Cheers, bro. Thank, Thank you, man. You.